Okay, so I wanted to make a video about um, how to embed your lessons into plan book. So, or not your lessons, your slides. Like I have weekly assignment slides and they look like this. My computer's running a little slow, so I apologize. So my slides look like this. And I wanted to embed this into my plan book so that when I change this every week, it can update without me having to physically go into plan book every week and load it in there. So you can see, like, I've already started um, linking things for next week. Like, this is um, 8.24. This, the one here was 8, 8.17. So I just pushed this one up to the top. So now it will be the first one displayed. And when I embed it, that change will already happen. I won't have to go in there and change that, which is like life altering. So all you have to do is you go here, go to publish to the web, go to embed. And I just told it, it, it didn't give me an option not to rotate the slides, but I just said every minute. That way, if somebody's looking at my plan book, they have a whole minute before it actually starts going to the next one. And then I said to restart the slideshow after the last slide. And that way they can go back through. It'll go back to the next one if they're on there for longer than a minute. So all you have to do is copy that, control C, and then I go back over to my plan book. And now I have actually made a class called weekly assignments because I want it to be in a place by itself. So everybody that's looking at my plan book can find that. I go to templates. And then I just want to add a template. And then I go right here and you can put it wherever. I'm just going to leave it in lessons because it didn't matter to me. And I'm just going to title it weekly assignments. Slides. I'll just call it weekly assignment slides. And I'm actually going to put all of my slides in this one thing. Now, here's the only thing that, about it. And you'll see this in just a second. It makes them huge, ginormous. But for me, I don't care. It's fine. I'll figure it out if I can change it. So you're going to go right here to insert edit media and then it gives you the option here to embed and all you have to do is control v it posts it there and then shazam there's my slide there and you can see it is the a24 if somebody wanted to see the other ones they could actually go here and they could see well i don't think it'll let me there it is and they could see both the slides, both of them, and as many as I have for the year will all be there. And then I just go to plus. I find the weekly assignments. And then I click the check. And it's actually going to add it there. And then I go to my plans. Okay, so now you can see that down in my plan book in weekly assignments, I actually have this huge... <laughs> Um, render of my weekly assignments and as I change it or as I do anything with it like you can see the 824 one is at the top even though the 817 was in the top before so every time I make a change it will change inside my plan book and that newest version of it will be at the top so then the um principals or anybody else that's looking at my plan book or other teachers can actually see the most recent version of that. Now, if anybody out there in the YouTube world knows how to make these smaller, that would be fantastic. And you can certainly share that information with me because I just figured out how to do this and um, we're all trying to learn things together. So I would absolutely love um, if you knew how to make these smaller, but I don't mind them big. You can see it well. Um, you can tell what it is. And then I'll just go and embed each one of them in that and then it'll be there forever and I won't have to touch that part anymore and just change my slides and it'll be there. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. I know it was short, sweet, and to the point, but sometimes that's all you need. Please subscribe, like, um, share, comment on my channel, Edutechables, Crystal Stevens. I would love to help you out. I would love to connect with you and collaborate with you on any of your virtual education needs. Thank you and have a great day.